Junie again. She honestly just wanted to go to Panda, so she hopped in the car with me and we decided we'd do our video together. But <laughs> she's here and so I'm excited to have a guest tonight. Um, we're doing things different today. I had an online training class today and so um, I didn't post our video earlier. But of course, where do you think I got our lesson from? Bible. Bible. Good job. Um, and it is from Luke. Let me, I think, let me, I haven't marked. It's Luke 7, 36 through 50, but you can um, read it tonight, but I'm going to actually post the video after we get done. You good? Yeah, I was adjusting my shirt. Okay. Okay, she had to adjust her shirt. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the story. I'm not even going to ask any questions. I'm just going to tell you briefly the story, and then I have the video for you to watch. It's a good one. It's fun. So June's going to kind of help me tell the story. Um, she's read it before. She She's familiar with the story, so we're going to talk about it a little bit together. Okay, first let's start in prayer. June, do you want to pray for everybody? Yeah. Yes. Let's bow our heads. We're all going to pray. Let's go. God, we thank you for allowing us to gather today. Not really gather, but through our phones. God, I just pray that everyone is staying safe at home and they're all enjoying their time off and they're just loving their family and taking every good part of this out of this, you know, sad event. God, I just pray that everyone stays safe and we all stay happy and we just continue to run after you, God. Just stay pray. Amen. Amen. Great prayer, Nuni. Run Amen. after him. I like the sound of that. Okay, so tonight our story <laughs> is about Jesus, of course, because that's what we're talking about. And he was invited to dinner by a Pharisee. And if you remember, a Pharisee is a priest, like a priest. And his name was Simon. And he went to Simon's house. And really, Simon just kind of wanted... I think Simon, my opinion, Simon just thought he kind of was very important. And I think he wanted God to see how, or Jesus to see how important he was. But that's not how this happened. So Jesus goes to his house and this sinful lady came in. And the Bible doesn't tell us her name. It just says a sinful lady came in. And June, what did the sinful lady do? She got on her knees and started crying at Jesus' feet and her tears she brought a bottle of expensive perfume with hers and a bottle and she knelt at Jesus' feet and she just started crying and wiping his feet, like wiping her tears off of his feet with her hair and then yeah. put perfume over it, uh, her expensive perfume. Okay, and boys and girls, if you didn't know that back then, that was a huge no-no. This woman, number one, who was super sinful, coming in to this with all these Pharisees, taking her hair down, and that perfume that she had was probably like all of her money, like all of her possessions. It was so expensive. And so she, some people even would say that she wasted it by, uh, by pouring it on him. Well, Simon didn't say anything, but he was thinking in his head. He was thinking, obviously Jesus doesn't know everything or else there is no way he'd be letting this lady the sinful lady wiping his feet and crying on him and having her hair on him, there is no way if he was really God or really important that he would be letting this lady do that. But then Jesus answered him. And he wouldn't even say it out loud. Simon didn't even say it out loud. He just thought it. But Jesus answered his thought. Can you imagine if you were kind of back-talking me, June? Mm -hmm. Imagine if she was back-talking me in her head and I... And I, I never do that. Never. She's a perfect <laughs> daughter. But let's say she was sassing me in her head, in her mind, and I answered her. That's what Jesus did to this, to this Pharisee. But anyway, so Jesus tells him, he was like, listen... He said, I'm going to give you an example. And he told a story. You want to tell that story about the guy that loans some people some money? Try it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not, I might not get it completely correct, but there's this guy. I don't think it says his name. No, it? no. Because it's and, just a parable, I think. And he gives these two people money. He gives one guy $500. Or dineros or whatever. Dineros or whatever. And then this other guy, 50 dineros money. And they both come back and... I'm not sure what he wanted them to do with they it. They couldn't pay him back. They couldn't pay him back. And so whenever they came back, he, uh, like, they both just said, like, the one that owed him 500 was just like, I'm sorry, I don't have this for you. And the master, the guy that gave him the money, just said, it's okay, I forgive you. To both of them, because the, the guy that had 50 also apologized for not being able to give him the 50 back. But the guy, like, the master actually forgave them both, even though 
one was 500 and one was 50, he forgave them both for not being able to pay him back. Right. So that was the example that Jesus gave Simon. He said, think about it. Somebody who owes a lot um, and then somebody who owes a little and then they're forgiven, which one do you think is forgiven more? Which one do you think would love more for being forgiven? It would be the one that owed the most. And this sinful lady, she owed the most because she had made so many bad choices. So that's what Jesus told the lady that was washing his feet. He said, your sins are many, but they've all been forgiven. Isn't that amazing? Because she had a lot of sins to forgive. Um, and so that's what I want you to take away from this tonight is whether we have a few sins or a lot of sins, God's going to forgive us. Um, but we shouldn't judge people that make bad choices because when God comes into their heart and forgives them, he's gonna, they're really going to love him. And as Junie said, what did you say earlier in your prayer? Chase or run? Run after God. Run after God. Because just like this lady did, I'm sure she ran after God after this. He told her to go out. He said, your faith has made you, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. And boys and girls, I want you guys to go in peace tonight. I want you to watch this video, and I want you to have sweet, sweet dreams. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.